Hi up. You can hear me. Oh, that's what it's from the board. You can hear me. This is that's like the, the self study that you've already done. There are some videos for self study. But we're going to have a look at this one now. So, this is our third lesson there. So, which could be the Monday when we go we'll come back to college after the weekend. Believe it or not. Right, so it says sketch the graph of 3x squared plus 5x minus 2, showing clearly the points where the graph crosses the coordinate axes and state the coordinates of the vertex. So, the vertex implies to me completing the square. And what's quite nice is that you can also find all the roots for completing the square as well. So let's just do it with completing the square. So it's three lots of x squared plus 5 over 3x minus 2. So it's three lots of x plus 5 over 6 squared minus 25 over 36. Let's open up making mistakes. Minus 2. So that's 3 lots of x plus 5 over 6 squared minus 25 over 12 minus 2. I'm going to divide. Then the 3 times the bracket, 3 times that. So that's 3 lots of x plus 5 over 6 squared. 2 is 24, so minus 49 over 12. Whew. Right, so what do I know then? From that, I know because it's a plus 3 at the front, that it's a U shape. I know from that that the vertex is minus 5 over 6, comma, minus 49 over 12. So I've got that information. I know from the original equation that the y-intercept is minus 2 from the original equation. But if I solve the completing the squared bit, I can find out what the root is. So 3 lots of x plus 5 over 6 squared minus 49 over 12 is equal to 0. Take the 49 over 12 over. Divide through by 3. Bring out space here. Square root it. Uh, where can I put this now? What if I can stick it in the bottom here? x plus 5 over 6 is plus or minus. I'm square rooting 49, which is 7, and I'm square rooting 36, which is 6. So I've got x is equal to, hang on, 5 over 6 plus or minus, whoops, you can read my writing, 7 over 6. So I've got minus a third. So look. What's that going to be? Um, hang on, hang on. Oh, that's minus five over six, isn't it? Look at me. I'm trying to rush the question, so I'm making errors. I don't want to make an error. Do I? Five over six plus or minus seven over six. So if I take it away, it's minus twelve over six. So it's minus two. Or if I add it on, it's minus 5 over 6 plus 7 over 6 is a third. So then are my roots. So I've got all the information I need to graph it now. So this is if I didn't have a graphical calculator as well. So I can do like that. Now what's important when I'm drawing this is that the vertex is in the correct quadrant. Because people draw it, whoops, what's moving? Quadrant. People draw it and they stick it in the wrong place. They put it on the on the y-axis. So the vertex I know is minus five over six comma minus forty nine over twelve. I know the roots are minus two and plus one third. 
and I also know it crosses on the y-axis at minus 2. There. Now we've got a graphical calculator, haven't we? So if I just I'm have to run over to the sort of keyboard to press escape, hang on. I'm back again. So if I graph it, let's see where the equation is. There it is, isn't it? So if I do menu and five for graph. Do F2 to delete it and F1, yeah. So I'm going to do 3x squared plus 5x minus 2. Let's do that. Graph it. Now my axes are all over the show, so I'm going to reset my axes doing F3, F3, XE, XE. I'm not happy with those axes, so I'm going to just tighten up my axes. So I'm going to do it from about minus 4 to 3, I think, on the x. So minus 4 to 3. Have a look at that, see if that looks nicer. Yeah. I can probably get rid of a bit of the y values, couldn't I? But from this now, if I, once I've graphed it, if I look at F5, which is G solve, it gives me the root. So I've got a minus 2. And if I press right, it gives me a third. Now, the problem with the calculator, on the, on the graphing menu, it gives you decimals. It uses a numerical solver. So it doesn't give you fractions. So you've got to know that 0.333 is a third. So if I go back and do my G solve again, boing, I can get the minimum point for F3. And that's minus 0 0.8333. So you've got to know that's minus 0.56 if you're using the calculator. And 49 over 12, which you know is minus 4 and 1 12, <laughs> you've got to know is minus 4.08. But I can use the calculator just to say, oh yeah, actually it's fine, it's working. And then if I do G solve again, I can do the Y intercept, which is F4, and that tells me minus 2. So I've backed it all up with the calculator, the calculator's good. Right, so that's cool. I'm going to stop there now because the next one is a little bit more tricky. Right, I'm stopping there.